Hello everyone, if you are coming to UK for study purpose or to work purpose or even if you are coming to join your family who is going to stay for a long time, the one main thing you need to know about is what is the cost of owning a car that is a four wheeler, what is the cost, total cost or a recurring cost you are expected to pay every year if you are owning a car in UK, that's the main topic of this video. Uh, what is the recurring cost every year you have to pay for any car? Without this, you cannot definitely own a car. You need to pay this amount every year. Then only your car is valid or legally you can keep the car and drive the car. Else you will get a lot of fines, penalty in the license. Welcome to my channel. This is Sundar Ayapan. Hope you like my video and like, subscribe and share this video to others. Your subscription helps me to grow this channel. Let's get into the video. This video is a little bit longer. Please bear with me and watch all the details which I'm going to say in this video, which consists of what are the important details you have to manage or you have to do every year for maintaining your car, which is legal to do. And then if you skip these things, then definitely you will pay, end up paying fines and then a lot of penalty points, which will increase your insurance. So don't skip this video. Keep watching till the end you have a lot of important details if you are new to UK cost of owning a car is the main thing you need to know before you buying a car whether you are going to buy a new car or a used car in UK then you have to know the cost of owning the car and that means that every car has a recurring expenses you have to spend every year irrespective of whether you are driving only 10 miles or you're going to drive thousands of miles every year you need to know before owning a car because you can buy a second hand car or a used car which is 10 years old 15 years for even for thousand pounds after that you need to have certain legal things you have to manage the car maintain the car there is no need to have a driving license before buying a car you can buy a car even though if you're not having license and keep the car in home the first thing every year you have to do for your car to be legal and then roadworthy is MOT. MOT is kind of a vehicle check or a fitness test you need to do every year for your car. This MOT proves your vehicle is road safety and it meets all the environmental standards. For new cars, for the first three years, you no need to do MOT. But after the third anniversary, you need to do the MOT every year for a new car. For used cars, every year you have to do the MOT on the date of expiry of the MOT or before that expiry of MOT. That is very, very important. You cannot drive a car with the, which is not having a MOT. Then your insurance is invalid. And then also you will be paying around 300 pounds fine and there will be a penalty on your license. What is the cost of MOT? So MOT you can do in any approved local garages, which will show that MOT test can be done in that garages. So the cost is uh, almost similar across the board. For any car, it is around 50, 54 or 55 pounds the, the car MOT cost is. And then some garages will reduce the amount to 20 pounds, 25 pounds based on the competition. If there is more garages nearby, then they will reduce the cost or there will be competitive cost. There will be 15 pounds, 20 pounds, 25 pounds. If you go and do the MOT in the dealer, authorized dealer like Honda or Toyota or Vauxhall, Ford or any other approved dealer, the cost they will charge the maximum amount which is 55 pounds. For two wheeler, the cost is around 29 or 30 pounds for two wheeler. I will stick to the four wheeler or more car MOT here. So every year you have to do that. Once you've done the MOT, then only you can uh, buy the vehicle excise duty, VED or uh, car tax or road tax. So that is also one thing you need to pay every year. If you are not driving the car, then you have to report the car to the government saying that I am not driving the car, but just keeping the car in my carriage. That is SORN. You have to file that. Then you no need to uh, pay the road tax. You just need to keep it, but you should not take the car out or you should not drive if you are SORN reported car, SON, this is called as SORN. In the MOT, they will check whether the car is having proper brakes, it is, is it sufficient brake and then tire depth, they will verify the tire depth of the car. There are around 15 to 16 uh, checks they will do. They will do only in the garage, they will not drive the car out. They will have a kind of a harness, they put the car and then drive within the, uh, the MOT center. You can see, you can sit and watch uh, in a viewing area if there is available in that garage 
or else they will ask you to drop the car and then go and come back it will take another at least a half an hour to one hour if there is any failure it will be marked as fail then you can retest by paying amount again the test amount the amount test amount some garages will do okay if you repair the failure in my same garage i will do the retest for free so some garages will offer that as i mentioned they will check the environmental standard whether the exhaust from the car is on uh, on the limit uh, uh, meet the environmental parameters like uh, more carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide amount whether it is under the limit and also they will check whether the brake quality battery quality everything is under acceptable limit these are the checks only they will do they will not do any other things mostly brakes wipers headlights indicators horn and then then the uh, exhaust these are the things they check in the mot so 15 to 16 things few things you can do you can check on your own before taking to the garage to avoid a failure like whether the wipers are working whether the headlights uh, indicators are working all those things you can check before you take it if the bulb is fused you don't know that in the rear brake lights is not working you don't know that because you will never see the rear brake lights when you are driving so you can check with uh, it with another person asking to check and then you can go because that is a failure they will mark it as failure so mot checks as i mentioned 55 pounds is the maximum cost you will be paying and then vehicle excess duty or road tax it depends upon uh, the amount of emission that's the reason to find out your road tax you need to know the emission amount that is how much kilogram of carbon dioxide your car is emitting per kilometer per mile here in uk it's mile per mile how many kilograms or grams of uh, carbon dioxide your, your vehicle is emitting based on that they will charge your uh, road tax previously it was based on the car engine size and then it was based on the cost all these are removed from 2022 it's going to be based on the emission rate if you having an electric vehicle which is not going to make any emission then it's a zero tax no need to pay zero tax if you have plug-in vehicle then it will run some amount of uh, distance in, pet, in in electric and then again it will switch over to the fuel so those cars also again de 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 decided by the emission rate so i have this emission rate now so it's it's as i mentioned electric vehicle zero and then anything up to 50 grams then it is uh, they are charging 10 pounds then again in this road tax you have a first year road tax that is a new car will have a higher road tax for the first year and then you have a standard road tax every after that every year after the first year so most of the vehicle will fall under 155 pounds even the size even the amount of emission is more but if you buying for the first year new car then the emission rate is based on the uh, government or the tested rate which is given by the company if it is 90 gram to 100 gram then it is 140 pounds for the first year and then after that it's 150 pounds and then the maximum for example if it is 255 gram the over anything over 250 gram uh, you will pay for the first year will pay around 2245 pounds it's very high cost but the people who are buying those kind of cars are range rover or bentley rolls royce or very big cars they definitely this amount is not a big deal for them they will just pay 200,000 uh, 200 to 2000 pounds and then they will drive the car away after that it is going to be 155 pounds only so second year onwards it's going to be standard everyone is going to pay the same amount now more electric cars are coming government is losing money on this uh, excess or road tax excess duty or load tax they will soon make find a way to uh, tax the electric cars as well but it will take another five to six years so this is second cost added to your uh, cost of owning your car that is a road tax or vehicle excise duty you will get a letter or you can pay it automatically in direct debit you can do that next thing is every year you have to do is service so service car service is very legal you have to do then only your insurance will be legal if you drive a car without uh, proper service then your insurance will you cannot claim insurance if it anything happens because of the reason you are not maintained the vehicle properly so service again depends upon the uh, car engine size so up to 1.4 1.4 liter that is 1400 cc you will have a, a kind of band again it depends upon the uh, city or if there is a lot of garages in the same town then they will have a competition then they will reduce the price so you have two different types of services interim service and full service interim service nothing but if you are not driving or if you are driving just less than 5000 miles per year then you go for an interim service interim service will have around 60 to 70 uh, checks and then they will change the oil filter and then oil filter all those things but if you go for a full service if it is driven more than 10000 miles then it will have a different cost they will change the engine oil they will change the brake oil then they will 
make lot of other checks as well so that will come in a full service the cost of 1.4 liter that is 1400 cc a car is it will start from around 80 pounds to 120 pounds again again if you take your car to a dealer authorized dealer this this cost will be double more than that so you have to uh, check with the local friends which garage is good and then you can do that but you have a legal uh, finance uh, attached to the car then you have to take your car to the authorized dealer to do the service then only your finance will be valid so that's uh, another thing you have to check and if the car is more than 100 and, uh, more than 1.4 liter then the cost will increase from 120 110 pounds interim service to around 190 pounds for full service if you have any car which is 2000 cc or 2 liter car then the service interim service will start from 150 and go to 255 the same cost if you do it in a garage it will be 350 pounds something like that for that reason most of the people what they will do if you buy a new car and then they will go for a service plan with the same dealer whereby you pay monthly the service cost and then you do one service per year with the cost without interest some companies will do without interest so you book for a three year service plan where you lock the service period or service cost for three years which doesn't increase the cost so you have some benefit every year if the service cost increasing from 150 to 170 next year 190 this next year then if you book it in advance three service in advance in that case you save money so some companies will up offer the service plans so service is a third thing recurring thing you have to do to keep your uh, vehicle valid if you drive a vehicle without a valid uh, service and then you make accident you can be fined a lot of uh, penalty point as well as uh, fines will be applied so just make sure your car is serviced you have insurance you have mot and then road tax so in total if you have a, a, a decent 1.4 liter car a 1400 cc car it will come around 360 pounds minimum 360 pounds to do us uh, to maintain the car every year I, i'm not going to the price of the car i'm just sticking to the cost of maintaining the car apart from the fuel and then repairs so avoiding the repairs and then the fuel cost you need to spend at least 360 pounds for every car you own in uk it's old or a new car you have to do that mot for new car first three years as i said you don't need to do but however after three years you will you need to add that 50 pounds into the, your uh, into your uh, monthly or into your annual running cost of your car so the cost of owning a car in uk without fuel and repair will be around 360 pounds per year for the starting level 1 liter to 1.4 liter engine size cars hope this video gave you information about what is the minimum cost to maintain the car in uk either a new car it's a slight difference or a used car it's, it's always the same or almost say close to the value which i said hope this helps you we will see in the next video until then take care bye